Hey, what's up everyone, Ultimate Atomic HD here, and today I'm continuing the Let's Play of Skullgirls for the PS4. Last time we tack we started off our journey through the story modes of the DLC characters, and in the last episode we did Annie, and now we're going to continue on to the second DLC character that was released chronologically, Umbrella, so let's get started. And yeah, Umbrella, as you all remember, is the little sister of Parasol. The heirs of Scarlet look alike, so. What's not to love? Once again, I. <laughs> very accurate representation of Parasol in this little doodle. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh. Like I like with the previous DLC, this story isn't voiced at all, so I won't be uh, sticking out for too long and reading all of these out. So you'll you'll read it yourself if you're interested. And yeah, unlike parasols, well, parasol of a weapon, umbrellas umbrella is actually sentient. And his name is Hungern. Can't remember, is the entire story to told through this doodle form or not? Oh, I guess not. Honestly, I don't remember much of Umbrella's story when I first played it. Like, Annie's one I did remember because uh, it was the first one out of all of these DLC ones. But Umbrella and Black Dahlia, I honestly can't even... I don't think I've even played through them when I first when I first installed the DLC because yeah uh, stories and uh, fighting games like I said in the last episode aren't uh, exactly the most content aware and con uh, con uh, con they they aren't brimming with uh, with uh, content content and enriching storytelling very basic and all that one of the most primo examples I've experienced recently is the Dead or Alive 5 last round. The game is actually really good in terms of gameplay as it usually is, but the story and not only does it continue the events of the other uh, games in the series, like no shit, it's the, it's the fifth one, and uh, yeah. I couldn't play those because most of them were exclusive to Xbox consoles, like the 360 and the OG Xbox, or something even older. I do know that they, uh, the Dead or Alive, I almost said Date Alive because the lyrics in the first opening of Date Alive kind of makes it sound like saying Dead or Alive. But anyway, yeah, uh, it's continuing that story, plus it's some of the most, like, I, I, I'm still processing to this day what, what that story tried to tell in terms of, well, I knew some things, like, through osmosis about the Dead or Alive series, but the actual story of the fifth game, I honestly 
really, really didn't have a clue what I was experiencing. Time for action. Yeah, I really... Yeah, the, the, the last video ended up being slightly over an hour long. For a single character story in a fighting game, that is just absurd. So let's see if this will be any shorter. We still haven't had a single fight as of now. And I'm guessing... That the first opponent is going to be Philia. The mascot of the... I don't want to say franchise because it's only a single game. Well, the mascot of the game then. And her parasite Samson. Interesting name that they went for the name Samson because I do remember it being I think it was a biblical story about a guy named uh, Samson who had luscious hair and then all his hair fell out and he became bold Yeah, I think if I remember it correctly that that's how it went down fight already or what? Oh, I think it's go time. Hi, why are you so weird? Do you want to Alright, let's see Ooh, how Umbrella handles. <laughs> okay, I'm already liking her more than Annie. That's I can that's something I can say for sure. Fight my basically. Ooh, that was a nice throw. And yeah, the hunger has actually three uh, states of being, and it affects combat to some extent. He, there's the normal mode, which I think it's called the satiated mode. Then the mode where he's overfilled, like he's. Okay, this is not gonna go well if I... Ooh. Yeah, Ooh, that was close. And then the last one was where he was very, very hungry. And yeah. Again, it does... It benefits the... Well, I mean, it changes the situation to some extent. But I'm honestly not too sure. How oh, much exactly? Okay, so how many fights did Annie have in total? I'm trying to remember. It was, I think it was seven fights in total. Or even eight. Because the fight against Marie was the fifth one. The sixth one was against Big Band and Squiggly, but they were masquerading as... But it was actually uh, double masquerading as them. In the context of the story. Then it was a fight against... 
uh, three doubles at once. And then once more against a single double. Single double, wow, that's a combination of words I've never thought that I would actually say out loud. So yeah, I guess, yeah, eight fights. And one of those fights I ended up, yeah, the very first fight against RoboForge and I ended up losing. Peacock again. Is she present throughout all four stories? I kind of get the feeling that she is. We'll just have to wait and see. Bella, how are you? Are you my opponent? My next opponent, that is? Yeah, I'll say that outfit is pretty magnificent. Hey, that's uh, actually... We're fighting another fighter who has an auxiliary helper. This time it's in the form of Cerebella's hat. Cerebella's sentient hat, to be more precise. Oh, Eliza is here too. Eliza is actually the second ever, I think... Uh the second ever story mode that I've cleared initially when I played this game for the first time. Can't believe who was the first one. I think it was actually Misfortune. I'm trying to remember. I clear- yeah, I clearly also remember that the Big Band and Beowulf were the last two that I did. It was Big Band and then Beowulf, so Beowulf was the last story mode I did initially. And the first one was... Yeah, Misfortune, then Eliza, and then I honestly don't remember anymore. And of course, the screams of anguish I had when I got to Fukua the first time. It was something else. Alright, so I'm fighting against both of them, it would seem. Both Sarabella and Eliza. Hope I don't get my face bashed in. Ow. Come on. The umbrella is gonna lick ya, much to the dismay of Plankton. Oh yeah, finally feeling it. Stop throwing me! I wanna be. I wanna do the throwing. Oh yes. How do I do that? Ow! Ooh, that was nice! Her walking animation is really goofy, look at it. <laughs> Ow. I forgot how stylish Eliza is with her attacks. Ooh. That was 
Nice. Very nice. Alright, so that was fight number two. Let's memorize that. Why does she look beat up? And Eliza looks fine. This logic... I just don't get. I think, yeah, every Skullgirl also, I mean, every character, I shouldn't say Skullgirl because I know it's, that, it's the title of the game, but Skullgirl, uh, Skullgirl here is something else and it's a predetermined term. But yeah, every character, I think, goes up against Marie in the respective story. So I think Umbrella will at, at some point also go up against Marie. So we shall see how it actually plays out. Now we're back to this district. So I'm guessing we'll run into misfortune here. Maybe again. Again, if I'm too fast for you to read all this, you can always just pause. Oh, it's Beowulf. Didn't expect to see him here. Alright, Mr. Beowulf, will you be my next opponent? You can hear the crowd cheering. Even in here? That sort of enthusiasm is uh, something I absolutely love. Alright, so I'm fighting Beowulf. Alright, let's see. I always like how Beowulf always has the chair ready for him in case there's a, there's a need to compete in the WWE or something. So, ooh. Oh, I found a way how to how to make fights feel very one-sided. Yes. Ow! Don't do that! I'll chew you up and spit you back out like I did just... Like I did... A little earlier. I never get to see that attack because it has so much wind up. Okay, I found a way how to deal with Marie, if I... With Marie's uh, first form, yeah? Let me actually get to her. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. A bit tough, but we managed to do that, so that was fight number three. I'm collecting data for the Law of Averages. Bring forth my next opponent. Okay, so yeah, 19 minutes, almost 20 minutes actually, and we only had a, 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 we only had three fights in those two 20 minutes. That is absurd for a story mode in a fighting game. Again, nothing wrong with having more story in 
dedicated fighting games, just make them uh, a bit more engaging and interesting and uh, wor worthwhile in the long run. Uh, Mortal Kombat ex uh, attempted to do something like that, but again, it's not perfect. Far from perfect, I would even say so. Yeah. Not exactly the most optimal thing out there. If math serves me right, since this is fight 4, it's probably gonna be against Double or Valentine if if we follow the rules of the tradition. Okay, we're getting close to where their hangout is. So I could be right on the money. Hello, Parasol. I <laughs> like how she just pops out, like nothing happened, she just casually, hey, did you find her yet? Oh, your pupils, I don't like them. They're the pupils of a skullgirl. Something's wrong with you, Umbrella. You gotta calm down a little. You have to confront the skullgirl, not become one. Alright, so I'm fighting Parasol now. That's my fourth if we fight. Alright, let's see which is better, an umbrella or a parasol. Oh, each one serves the purpose. Just, it's a different sort of purpose, so they're both. Well, but I do prefer it at this. In this current situation, I do prefer Parasol over an umbrella. If you know what I mean, of course. This attack just does so much damage. Yeah, Umbrella so far is my favorite out of the DLC characters. Black Dahlia I clearly remember not liking too much and Marie was like like the golden middle of everything. You'll see what I mean. Like, in every area she has that spark, that potential that could make her insanely good, but then she just gives up midway through and never even dares to cross that threshold. Will we join forces now, so we can save the day and eliminate the real threat? That is the Skullgirl Miller Marie, Double or Valentine? Let's see. Well, I guess Umbrella's going on her own.
Despite his freakish appearance, hunger is always here to cheer you up when you're feeling the downest you've ever felt. Although seriously, I missed opportunity to make him look like the uh, the classic umbrella demon from Japanese folklore. You know, the one, uh, the one with the one eye and uh, a very, very long tongue and a human leg as a handle. Okay, Painwheel might be my next opponent. I even heard some people that they want Brain Drain as the... as a new DLC playable character. And as we all know, that never came to be. an hour in and only four fights so yeah in 10 minutes the, the amount I we only had two new fights very interesting like I keep saying how much of a story ratio there is although in some other circumstance like in Fukua story there was there were only two cutscenes one at the beginning and one at the very end of the story so Fukua story was like almost pure f uh, fighting all the time which is interesting from a different point of view And her actual story was beyond interesting, to say the least. Her story was essentially Philly Apart 2, even though it was never called that. Alright. It is, it is indeed Pain Wheel who I'm fighting next. Who will our star be tonight? Action! <laughs> yeah, this attack rules. This is a good throw. Getting a hang of things. Ow. Ooh, that was good. Photo finish, I tell ya. Okay, five fights. Again, half an hour in. Yeah, that's what you get, Brain Drain. That's what you get for hijacking the bodies and minds and lives of others. That's a nice still. A nice cinematic still. I also forgot that Pain Wheel is actually really nice when she you, takes her mask off. Very unscary. Although I fail to see the purpose of these nails in her shoulders and 
I wanna say butt from the angle that the lower ones are positioned at, but yeah, I'm gonna go with butt. So what exactly is the purpose of them? I'm not seeing it at the moment at least. Plus, how does she... I mean, yeah, it can kind of work like a tail or how she's controlling her um, pain wheel. So, yeah. So, yeah, if the previous DLC is anything to go by... We should still have three fights left. So let's see what they bring. Hey, you made it! You found Umbrella. It would appear. Imagine if the game surprised you and made you fight a non-playable character, like Adam, for example. Imagine if he gets in on the fun and and you're supposed to fight him and he's an, he's an unplayable character and it's, oh, that's too bad when you see that he's absolutely destroying you with his amazing unbalanced moveset. It can happen. I even have experience of it happening. Hey, you put your mask back on. I mean, yeah, I, I don't think I, they have the render of her without the mask. Ah, oh, Parasol's already confronting Marie. Okay, now... Will I be able to control Parasol? Will it be a tag team bout? Because I don't... I think... I only fought Marie in a tag team battle once across the entire... game. In the base game, that is. And I can't remember which combination of characters it was. If I ended up fighting her like that. There are the eyes. Oh, we brought a whole army here. This, uh, this will significantly help us if we are actually fighting Marie. Well, I'll also be controlling Pain Wheel. That's gotta be nice. I kinda wanna do it now, like Parasol, Pain Wheel, and Umbrella. The PPU Squad. Or the PUP squad. Or the UPP squad. I, I have no idea how which acronym we should use. It would be easier if all of their initials were the same letter. I wanna fight Marie like this. There they go flying, even pain wheel. Well, I guess it's just Umbrella and Parasol, the up formation. Oh, no cutscene or anything? Okay, Parasol and Umbrella against Marie, so let's do this. Alright, let's do this. Like this. Okay, have us 
fair character in case things go south then let's face it the most probably will they kind of already are okay no oh okay i thought it was gonna transform oh she's doing it now i blocked it in time I'm doing well. No, 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 no. Ooh, dodged it like a champion. Slow and steady and carefully wins the race. Whoa, 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 whoa. Has to block that as well. Okay, this form isn't too bad. If you can... Ow! Ow! Okay, let's get some assistance here. We can afford to be a bit more reckless now. There we go! It was not the best performance, but... It was... Okay. Okay, that was battle number six. Oh, I like this render of Marie. Really gives up that eerie and spooky vibe. There she goes. And there's the skull heart. Queen Nancy, how nice of you to come by. The, the mother of Parasol and Umbrella. Turned evil. Oh yeah, she was one of the Skull Girls. Annie's mom was one of them as well. Wait, how many Skull Girls were there, lore-wise? I think three or four was... So Marie, Queen Nancy, and Annie's mom. That's the three I can't I can remember. But if there is a fourth one, which one is it? Okay. Hunger is getting powered up. Oh, is the day saved already? I thought we were going for another fight. Okay, if we are done, then this is the shortest one so far. We're not, we're not even 40 minutes in. <laughs> I like how Pain Wheel randomly it reminds me of that X-Men meme where... Uh, kill me now, I, I can't remember the... One of them was Jean Grey, the, the woman's name was Jean Grey, and then I don't know what, what the guy's name is. I, if I wanna bet on my knowledge of the X-Men mythos, I wanna say it was Cyclops. Yeah, when the two are kissing and then Wolverine. You, you pull out a bit with the camera and then you see Wolverine, like, standing there. <laughs> Randomly reminds me of that meme for some reason Although this one is a bit more wholesome than the original X-Men meme Ah, there's the doodle again I just love how Umbrella doesn't hold back when it comes to her sister's proportions. Yeah, there's the slumber party. 
looks nice. Wish there was more moments like this in stories like as dour as this one can be. And again, I wish there was a skin like where you could control Painwheel or Carol as she's usually called. Uh, where she doesn't have all that equipment and maybe fights using something else. Because some other fighting games have done something similar and was a, a bit, bit of a neat attention to detail in that regard. Would, would be nice. Highly doubt that they, they would actually do something like this, because I, they would essentially need to program a whole different character to do it. Okay, are we done? Yay, we're done. Wait, how do I skip this again? Oh, the touch screen skips, I keep forgetting. And like the previous one, we have an after scene. Who are you talking to there, Parasol? Will we ever know? Or not? It's either Brain Drain or that Medici guy. Or someone... yeah, King Franz. The new definition of Human Torch. Anyway, yeah, that was Umbrella's story and Skullgirl's and yeah, definitely the shortest one so far, 43 minutes in. Alright, and we're already halfway done with these DLC characters. Next time we meet, we'll be taking a look at Black Dahlia's story, my least favorite character to control in this game. But how will her story fare? Well, we'll find out next time. Thank you all so much for watching, stay tuned for more Red Zorkers and updates, have yourselves a great day, and I will see you all next time.